Hello Virgo, welcome to our timeless tarot to go. Well, we are a little bit late in the uh, in the video, but uh, it's still midday. Okay, uh, it's been a busy day for me also. So uh, I invite you to have a short tarot reading with me at the middle of the day and uh, take a short break for a while. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah, for some of you, maybe you can really take some some lunch time, no? some lunch. Okay, um, right now I, I, I see as if, uh, yeah, uh, your throat chakra is very bright right now. Okay, and uh, earlier, uh, it can be a feminine energy, no? Uh, the throat chakra is uh, a little bit bright right now. Okay, it's uh, good. Maybe your capacity to communicate right now is quite high. Uh, looking at the crystal ball and at the same time while I was looking at the crystal ball earlier I saw a car leaving moving away and uh, in front there's the driver and behind there's a passenger okay two people in the car driving away and then now I see a uh, I think a feminine energy with a uh, prominent throat chakra uh, the throat chakra seems to be open, unblocked. So uh, your capacity for communication is quite good. Okay, so this is what we can see right now from the crystal ball. Okay, now let us uh, do the tarot reading. First, we start with the main energy. Okay, Virgo. Anyway, Virgo is a feminine, feminine energy. So the one with the and usually Virgo is very good when it comes to conversation. So the main energy is the Pope. Okay. Uh, immediately what came to me is that uh, a new lesson. For some of you, you are studying a new course maybe. Can be online, can be really a formal course uh, beginning. Uh, for some of you, it's related to spirituality. And... Uh, for some of you, there is a mentor, somebody who's guiding you right now. A thesis, it came to me also right now. No. So it's beginning a new a new study, uh, something related to spirituality. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it will require some some uh, discipline. Okay, some, but I think you will not have problem because right now I saw the throat chakra as well. It's open, so it's easy for you to communicate. No, it's more of studying right now, something related to spirituality. That's what I can see right now in the main energy. Okay, now, okay, uh, whatever it is right now, you have a, uh, you have undergone a paradigm shift. You no, know? and uh, if before you felt you were constrained, right now you are uh, being loosened already from that constraint. But the problem is. You are holding something in both your hands. Uh, it seems that you are busy right now. Now be careful. <laughs> Once this one lets go, no, you, you fall uh, and you are too busy. You, you might get hurt. Okay. Um, I guess it's just, uh, yeah, you are balancing a lot of things right now in your life. But at the same time also, you, you, are, you, are, you have a mature outlook of life right now. Uh, but you are also very busy. So uh, I, I guess um, uh, somehow there is a need for you to, yeah, to set yourself free, uh, to be free from, from many things. Now, you see here, uh, the only thing that is free is your left leg. Your right leg is preoccupied. Both hands are preoccupied. So you are quite busy right now. Uh, but maybe you need to loosen uh maybe you need to loosen yourself a little bit from many responsibilities so that you can set yourself free also because all you need to know all you need to do right now is to let go of these two things that your hand is holding and then you can free your right leg from it so uh all you have to do is to maybe set aside some things that you are doing right now in order to free yourself also in other aspects of your life right now so there is one aspect in your life right now that you feel tied tied to right now whatever it is you try to see what it is no there is one 
uh, wherein you are you feel obligated the others you have the freedom to let go okay but there's one that you are obligated right now and this one that is obligated right now uh, well in a certain sense maybe makes you feel uncomfortable now in order for you to free from that that is obligated you it, you know it's it's like for example uh you have a job that you need to accomplish you no know? but then you are also taking other things you no know, that prevent you from finishing this job that you are obligated to finish okay so virgo it's it's as if for example you are procrastinating somehow for some of you you might be pro procrastinating like for example this one that your leg is attached to is a responsibility that you need to finish and for you to free yourself from that you need to finish it okay you need to untie yourself from it but at this present time instead of attending to that one you are attending to other things you are holding on to other things no and then at the same time also you are relaxing a little bit on the left leg so in a certain sense maybe you are delaying attending to something that is very important right now that you feel that you are obligated to accomplish something that you cannot free yourself something that the only way to free yourself is that you need to attend to it now uh, it seems that instead of attending to that you are attending to other things i don't know if they are also important or you are just trying to avoid attending to what is really something that you really need to accomplish so it can be you are procrastinating you are doing other things. No, I think I'm also guilty of that right now. That uh, you are doing doing other things instead of doing something that you really need to attend to right now. So it's like delaying, delaying this thing that you need to do by trying to do other things, which, uh, which you can actually let go. Which means it's not really that important. You can forego it and do it later but you are doing it right now in order to avoid this one that you really need to do so maybe it's time for you to let go of these things first and attend and attend to something that you are really obligated to accomplish and maybe after that then you can already free yourself and then you have more freedom all your extremities will be able to do what you want to do you know sometimes it's it's a it's delaying something that is painful <laughs> Uh, something uh, a responsibility that you need to do by doing other things that are not too demanding no but actually when you try to look at your priorities this is the thing that you need to give attention to so maybe what is needed for you right now is to prioritize and really concentrate on the things that you need to do and then afterwards you can attend to the other things okay and here, okay, we have here the King of Wands. Now, you see here, even the King of Wands is a little bit relaxed in his sitting. No? So, uh, usually, uh, the King has a certain decorum when he is doing his work. So, somehow, maybe he is not doing his work right now. He is relaxing, okay, in a certain sense. No? Uh, yeah, even the way he holds his scepter, it's it's inverted. So, he's taking a break. No? It's like the King is taking a break right now. Uh, yeah, it's good to take a break every once in a while, but uh, you need to discern is this break really needed right now or you really need to attend on something that you, maybe the break you're doing the break in order to avoid attending to something that is important. Okay. Now, yeah, somehow the universe is helping you now. They're going to give you something, an inspiration or enlightenment. So that maybe you finally be able to attend to that. Maybe it's because it's a little bit difficult. You know, sometimes uh, the reason why we procrastinate on things is because somehow we feel uh, there is something that we need to do on that area that we are having sort of like a, um, sort of like we couldn't move forward. There is an obstacle and we couldn't move forward. Uh, sometimes I kind of think that they are like just a paper wall maybe all you need to do is to push it and then you realize it falls down uh, maybe that is the thing that made you procrastinate uh, you find it a little bit difficult to attend to but it's if even the universe right now is giving you a sword and i think the sword is to cut off those things that are less important <clears throat> in order to concentrate and prioritize on the thing that is very important so i think this one 
it's as if the universe right now is giving you a message cut off those things that are not as important as this one so that you can attend to it you see here the string you you know you need to cut off that string and the only way to cut off that string is to attend to it and finally you see here the string is set free so i feel right now yeah the universe will help you the universe will help you solve that problem so all you have to do is to really let go for the on those things that distract you and attend to it now and somehow i feel the universe will help you accomplish it very fast see here the queen of wands now is somebody who's on fire the king of wands is also on fire but it seems that the queen of wands is more uh ready to work because the king of wands the scepter is relaxing brought down but the queen of wands is ready to wield the scepter okay so she's ready to go into action so take the energy of the queen of wands who is ready to create new things you no know, to use her creativity in order to finish whatever you need to finish right now i think with this creativity you will be able to finish it in time okay uh we have here the moon yeah maybe that's the thing that makes you makes you hesitate no uh, the mystery you don't know whether you will finish it or not and uh, but you see here the help help is coming there's a crustacean going out of the water it's as if the universe is helping you right now it's like they're saying come on finish it finish it uh, don't worry we have your back okay even though you feel like uh, it's difficult you have your back and you are communicating to the universe as if saying help me help me finish it okay I yeah i know i am procrastinating right now okay uh yes you are a little bit guarded so i feel you are a little bit guarded attending to that problem no uh, yeah because of the mystery you, 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 there are certain things that you still don't know maybe this job the, you, you need to the details that you need to put there is still a mystery to you and maybe that's the thing that makes you procrastinate but when you look at it it's only nine ones that is guard that is keeping you from moving forward it is free already on the left side it's free on the right side all you have to do is to turn around okay so it means that these obstacles are not really obstacles all you have to do is to find another way out of it and when you find another way out of it you will be able to free yourself so uh yeah maybe what the thing that scares you is actually not not really scary so it's as if they're saying hurry up come on remove all those obstacles until it becomes four and then when it becomes four it's you'll be more stable and you will be celebrating so all you have to do is to attend remove those obstacles you don't have to remove all of them just enough for you to pass or maybe uh, bypass it completely and then you will celebrate things will get better already so uh, yeah i think you just need to attend to whatever it is that you need to attend to and here again we have here the king of swords so you need to cut off prioritize cut off those things that do not help you right now okay because it's giving you anxiety now i think it's because of the deadline the deadline is already coming and you're having having anxieties already uh, i hope you will not end up with paralysis by analysis no i feel that yeah that the the the, the thing that keeps you from moving forward is that paralysis by analysis you already anticipate uh, a lot of problems when you haven't uh, put your hand into the plow so yeah it will give you sleepless nights i mean un unless you attend this one you will have anxiety and it will be difficult for you to sleep okay maybe there is a deadline that you need to follow up right now now uh, in the end if you will work on it if you will allow the universe to guide you you will again feel relax just like the queen of cups now you will be fine you will be emotionally stable again so yeah right now what i feel right now is you need to prioritize and you need to attend to something that i feel if you attend to it it will remove you it will free you from a lot of anxiety and finally you will be able to really enjoy to relax really now especially now it's the vacation no? maybe there is something that you need to attend to so that it will not give you any more the anxieties that you feel here and that you will be more peaceful like the queen of cups okay uh, so just take what resonates with you right now this is a general reading
Now let us try to end this reading with some oracle cards. It says here, you got the love, Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Okay, um, I don't know why, but somehow this one speaks of relationship. Is there right now something that you need to attend to? Can this be that for some of you, this thing that you need to attend to, that you are avoiding right now, is attending to this problem wherein there is a troubled relationship, where it, the relationship is codependent. Now you need to address it because if not, you will be like in a washing machine. And uh, somehow, yes, you need to have boundaries also. So I think uh, for some of you, this thing that you you are not attending to can be also a relationship. A relationship that is not very healthy, but you are afraid to attend to it because of the fears that you there is there are some fears that keep you from doing it you no know? but somehow you need to attend to it and then uh, to start to bring boundaries from it okay so uh maybe we can read a little bit more about this one no? you got the love okay let us see you got the love okay you got the love I'm just going to put my glasses now. So some, for some of you, yeah, this thing that you might not be attending to is something related to the relationship, okay? Because the universe may just replace it. It says here, uh, the Hadarians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love. Okay. Uh, when there is codependency, it's not unconditional love because you ex one of you or maybe both of you expect the other to fill up your cup. Unconditional love is you just give love without expecting your the others to give love in return because your cup is overflowing already. Okay, so um, the Hadarians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love who see love in all people and situations. Okay, as a result, they can find it hard to have boundaried, interdependent, healthy relationships because they only see the unconditional nature of those they meet. The lovers of the cosmos, they dive in fast. They are here to learn how to love while in a separate body. To learn to love self first and then establish healthy relationships with others. To remember that the love they seek is already within them. Okay, see, uh, the love that you seek is already in you. Your source of happiness is already in you. So the first one is to love yourself. Okay, and when you love yourself, you demand others also to respect you okay uh sometimes what happens is when we enter into a codependent relationship we try to win them to our side so we try to bargain we try to buy their love something like that okay so to remember that love the love they seek is already within them that they truly do have the love all on their own the message of this card is to review the ways you may need to establish healthier boundaries. Perhaps you are in a codependent relationship in which you may be losing your sense of self. Okay, it's like that. No? When sometimes in the codependent relationship, one is giving and giving and giving and the other is just taking and taking and taking. The one who constantly gives, uh, constantly gives because they want also to receive love. But since they do not receive love from the other, the more they try to run after the other in order to fill their cup. And what happens is, when they come to a point that they get tired, they stop giving, and then the other who keeps taking and taking no longer receives the energy, and so they start running after the other who stopped giving. And so when the other stop giving starts to receive love again, then the one who, start, uh, who used to give and now starts to receive love which was before they are deprived of, then they start to go back again into the relationship. And then again, the cycle begins again. So somehow uh, you need to free yourself from such a, a relationship wherein oftentimes the symptom is that you lose yourself. And usually the person who loses themselves is the one who keeps on giving because love is not being returned. And they expect this person to whom they give love to fill up their cup instead of allowing the divine to fill up their cup so their focus is to receive love from the other 
and when the other one doesn't give love then they lose themselves okay uh, so it's a vicious cycle when you realize later on that actually your source of happiness and your love is actually the divine and you don't need this other person to fill up your cup when you realize that you don't run after them anymore and you don't lose yourself anymore because you do not end up falling into this vicious cycle of giving and giving and giving and running after and running after the person okay it's common for star seeds to dive deep into relationships okay particularly with those who feel safe and familiar at a soul level perhaps you are in a relationship in which you give more than you receive okay so yeah give 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 than receiving or perhaps there is a certain volatility to it and you are always unsure where you stand yeah it's true because when the person just receives and receives uh, they tend to look around also and sometimes they have a lot of options so you don't feel secure in the relationship okay this card is a sign to do a relationship review and i think that is one here to make a relationship review do you really deserve this relationship right now maybe you are afraid to to address that one maybe you are afraid to to recognize that you are in a unhealthy relationship a codependent relationship okay this is this card is a sign to do a relationship review and see what energetic agreements you have made consciously or unconsciously to acknowledge if there are relationships in which you feel anxious or powerless in which you don't feel like it is safe to relax and just be you to assess if there are any places of inadequacy that you have used a relationship to soothe and cover up so for some of you the thing that you are afraid to address and you try to do other things uh, like yeah trying to win the person the one that you are afraid to address can be also for some of you a codependent relationship somehow subconsciously you know already that it's not a healthy relationship not a not a uh, give equal giving and take but somehow you are afraid to address it because you know that you're going to get hurt with it so you you pause like this person no maybe because in that relationship you have already been hurt a lot of times so you're afraid to act anymore already no so for somehow the nine of ones also shows a person that has been constantly can also symbolize a person that has been constantly hurt in a relationship and they are afraid to go out anymore they are already afraid to go out of the relationship but actually they can go out because there are only nine ones that is forming the wall they can turn around and go out but they are afraid to go out already when actually if you can free yourself get got get out of the wall you will celebrate life again you will feel free so what happens is you remain in a situation where you have anxiety each night because yeah so for some of you if it is not related to career it is related to an unhealthy relationship that you are afraid to address but you need to address okay finally we have star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation okay i think you need to be in touch more with the universe uh star bathing is somebody who is uh, allowing the universe to replenish them to recharge them but i think you need to address this one and you need the universe to guide you so you need to spend more time with nature maybe as you because what will happen is if this is really an unhealthy relationship you will have to cut it off which can be symbolized by the king of sword he is ready anytime he can cut it off no and then you will get get in touch you see you will become the queen of cups who is in who he who is in control of her relationships no uh control of her emotions also somebody who's also confident so i feel what you are procrastinating right now just like the king of sword right now also relaxing he already has the sword he can cut it off no and if you are able to cut it off i think part of the things that will help you to to recover is being immersing yourself with nature nature will help you recover but i think you need to address something that you have been procrastinating to address and when you cut that off you will have to undergo healing and somehow nature will have an important part in that process of healing so virgo there are two possibilities here one is attending to a work that you have been procrastinating 
and another one which according to these oracle cards uh, it can be for some of you an unhealthy or a codependent relationship that you need also to attend to that you are procrastinating also so there are two possibilities here just take what resonates with you at this point in your journey well that's our reading for today thank you for the likes and the comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing if you feel this will help somebody don't hesitate to share it with them uh, just take what helps you in your journey uh, the universe finds ways to help us know if you found yourself watching here watching this video there is something for you here uh, discern it and take it okay the rest that you feel do not help that do not belong to you leave it for the others okay i hope to see you again next time until that time may god continue to bless your ways